हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जिक्स कैफे बाय मनजीत कौर इन दिस वीडियो वी स्टडी अबाउट क्लास नाइन्थ फिजिक्स चैप्टर साउंड इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ वी कम अक्रॉस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ साउंड एंड वी आर वेल इक्विप्ड विद द मैकेनिज्म टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वाइब्रेशन इन द साउंड पैटर्न In our life, our father, our mother, siblings, our friends, or even every person has a different voice. Did you ever notice why every person has a different voice? To understand this concept, we learn about the properties of sound. Properties of sound. Since sound is a wave, so we can relate the properties of sound to the properties of a wave. The basic properties of sound are loudness, pitch, and quality. Here we have diagram of sound A, sound B, and sound C. Here sound B has a lower pitch than sound A because of lower frequency of sound B. and similarly sound b is softer than sound c because of smaller amplitude here amplitude is higher than sound b so to understand this concept briefly we further discuss loudness pitch quality in detail first we have pitch pitch is a measure of high or low the tone of a sound wave it is related to frequency that means frequency determines the shrillness or the fluttering of a sound that means high the frequency high the pitch of a sound that means it is said that the sound is shrilling similarly lower the frequency we get lower the pitch so we can say that it is the sound that is fluttering to understand this let's take an example here we have wave which moves from left to right that is its mean position and that is its extreme position here we have high frequencies and the gap between two waves is very small so when the gap between the two waves is small so we get higher frequency that means when frequency is high pitch is also high so we can say that when higher the frequency pitch is also high so we can say that the sound is shrilling because the gap between two wave is very small so this is the example of high pitch sound and next is low pitch sound here we have wave which moves from left to right so in this that is its mean position and that is its extreme position so here frequency is lower because the gap between two wave is very high so we can say that when we have low frequency the pitch is also low so it is said that the sound is fluttering that means when frequency is low pitch is also low that means the sound is fluttering when the gap between two wave is very high so this is the example of low pitch sound the example of high pitch is 
डॉग्स वाक फायर अलार्म एंड स्मोक अलार्म Similarly, the examples of low pitch are drum, flute, and trumpet. So, it is easy to explain that in high pitch, the gap between two waves is very small. So we get the higher frequency. So because of high frequency, we get high pitch. So the sound produced is shrilling. Similarly. when the gap between two waves is high so the frequency is lower and the sound produced is flattering because of low pitch so this is the diagram of high pitch and low pitch next is loudness loudness is the response of ear to the sound it is related to the amplitude that means loudness is proportional to the square of the amplitude of the vibrating body producing sound higher the amplitude loud sound we get and similarly lower amplitude fewer sound produce that means in loud sound more the amplitude of the vibration and in fewer sound lesser the amplitude of the vibration to understand this let's take an here we have wave which moves from left to right that is its mean position and that is its extreme position so distance between mean position and extreme position is the amplitude so that is its that is its amplitude so when the high amplitude of the wave the loud sound is produced higher amplitude sound is loud so we can say that more the amplitude of the vibration the sound produced is loud and similarly for feeble sound here we have wave which moves from left to right that is its mean position and that is its extreme position so distance between mean position and to extreme position is the amplitude of the wave so low the amplitude we get feeble sound here that is amplitude so we can say that here the amplitude is low which, which is the height of the wave is very low so when low amplitude of the wave we get feeble sound that means lesser the amplitude of the vibrations the sound produced is feeble loudness is measured in decibel the example of loud sound is which produced through hammer and nail and similarly the example of feeble sound is playing guitar so in this example we have more the amplitude of the vibration so the sound produced is loud and in feeble sound lesser the amplitude of the vibrations the sound produced is feeble so we can say that in loudness we have two types first is loud sound and second is feeble sound so in loud sound we have more the amplitude of the vibrations that means the height of the wave from to mean position is high then we get loud sound and similarly for feeble sound lower the vibrations of amplitude the sound is feeble that means 
lower the height from the mean positions of the wave is then we get vowel sound next is quality quality describes those characteristics of sound which allow the ear to distinguish sounds which have the same pitch and loudness that means even if the sounds of two objects have same frequency and similar amplitude but emitted by two different instruments here we have example the sound produced by guitar and sitar both have same frequency that means both have same pitch and loudness which is amplitude but still we can easily distinguish between the sound of sitar and guitar without looking at the instruments because we know the quality the difference of both the sounds of these instruments here that is the sound wave of sitar and that is the sound wave of guitar both the sound wave produced by instruments have same frequency and same loudness that means same pitch and same amplitude but still we can easily distinguish the difference between both of them that means by hearing the sound we can easily distinguish which instrument is playing different types of sound there are two types of sound audible sound and inaudible sound here we have definitions of inaudible sound and audible sound first we study about audible sound audible sounds are the sounds that the human ear can detect that means the human ear can hear the human ear hears the frequency between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz the human ear cannot hear the frequency above 20 kilohertz and similarly the human ear cannot hear the frequency below 20 kilo 20 hertz so but in audible sound in audible sounds are the sounds that the human ear cannot detect that means the frequency below 20 hertz and the frequency above 20 kilohertz it is further divided into two parts first is infrasonic sound second is ultrasonic sound first is infrasonic sound any sound with the frequency below 20 hertz is known as infrasonic sound that means frequency less than 20 hertz is known as infrasonic sound and the examples of infrasonic sound are whale dinos and giraffe they can hear the frequency below 20 hertz next is ultrasonic sound any sound with the frequency above 20 kilohertz is known as the ultrasonic sound so the frequency above 20 kilo hertz is known as ultrasonic sound the examples of ultrasonic sounds are bat dolphin 
and dog they can hear the frequency above 20 kilohertz so these are ultrasonic sounds are the examples next is pleasant sounds pleasant sound can be defined as a sound which is feel happy that means that sound when we hear give us happiness which relax our mood so examples of pleasant sound can be the sound of free bird flowing butterfly sound sound of bird like cuckoo etc so these examples are the examples of pleasant sound which give us happiness when we hear that sound here we have example of butterfly sound and this is the example of sound of cuckoo which give us happiness pleasure next is unpleasant sounds unpleasant sounds can be defined as the sound which irritate us and can cause headache that means that sound which not give us happiness and we not feel relaxed by hearing that sound so that sound is unpleasant sound here we have examples of unpleasant sound it can be the sound of construction site horn of train and other vehicles and rock music etc these examples of unpleasant sound which does not give us happiness that not relax our mind these sound only irritate us so that is are the examples of unpleasant sound here horn of train and rock music are the examples of unpleasant sound so i hope you like my video thank you for watching my video like my video and subscribe my channel